Learning and memory in the hippocampus is dependent on activation of the NMDA receptors or the glutamate receptors, which are perhaps the most potent neurotransmitter in the brain. What we know is that lead and stress are both potent inhibitors of the NMDA receptor activity and that both lead and stress impact the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. Not only do they both uh, impact them, but the combination of lead and, and a stressful environment are synergistic in this, in this regard. So this study looked at lead-exposed rodents and then uh, followed them during uh, their growth and development by having one group that was raised in an enriched social environment and another that was raised in what's a standard environment. So what's a, an enriched environment for a rodent? There's maybe a few more toys and there are more rodents per cage. So there's more interaction and play. Um, and then they, then they looked at uh, learning memory and NMDA receptor activity. Well, lead w affected learning and uh, memory and decreased those abilities. And the NMDA receptor activity was, was also decreased in those that were lead exposed. But if you, the group that were lead exposed but then were raised in an enriched environment, the, the impacts of lead on, on cognition were dramatically reduced and that the, the NMDA receptor activity or part of this mechanism uh, for its effect was, was normalized. So does this relate to what, what happens in humans? Well, we do know from some studies that environmental enrichment may am ameliorate some of the neurocognitive effects of, uh, of pollutants that we're exposed to. So one example is the study of lead exposure in, uh, in children in uh, Mexico City. And uh, what uh, Bellinger found was that uh, lead exposure at low levels, below 10 micrograms per deciliter, uh, the, the cognitive impacts were only seen in those from less advantaged households. Uh, whereas with uh, higher levels of lead exposure, greater than 10 micrograms per deciliter, they were seen in both, effects were seen in both advantaged and uh, the less advantaged households, but the effect was ameliorated to some degree in the advantaged households. We know uh, additionally from PCB, polychlorinated biphenyl studies, that the prenatal effect seen on neurocognition was only actually seen in the families that had a less optimal parent and home characteristic score. And that breastfeeding was protective of one of the effects, which was uh, on attention at, at school age. So that might indicate that a closer uh, relationship, a less stressful early environment uh, was, uh, was also ameliorative. Um, and then uh, in a study in New York City of exposure to uh, secondhand smoke, there was the greatest cognitive impact on those that had unmet basic needs in the areas of food, housing, and clothing. So again, I think that these emphasize that environmental enrichment uh, May, may have uh, be effective in ameliorating uh, neurocognitive effects of environmental exposures.